I didn't know about it, not in the form that I'm involved with now, but certainly music has always been a very powerful um, component in my life. Uh, so I certainly know its healing properties. Sound can be a significant way to escape from noise pollution. It's not only to help people to relax and meditate, but also it can be more powerful than any other type of music. When you put on a piece of music to listen to, you're consciously picking that piece of music. Oh, I want to listen to this now. When you're in the hands of a sound therapist, he guides you to where he thinks you need to be. It's something that you really don't have control over. Part of this process is shaking you up from the inside. You know, we all have moments of traumatic events in our lives. Sometimes people move on from those events before they really have fully processed. By using these instruments, such as crystal balls, gongs, and chimes, Tracy Cross is trying to help others who have had the same issues as his in past years to overcome their life's challenges. It's my calling to do this. It helped me and I felt very compelled to want to help others. I used to go as a patient or a client to work with some sound therapists up in Hartford, Connecticut, who were um, very instrumental in helping me through a difficult time in my life, uh, a divorce in particular. Even though this place can be overwhelming, people often come to it as individuals and groups due to many different types of issues. I think sometimes that's a very personal reason. People are overworked, quite stressed out, having a difficult time managing all the aspects of their lives, too many balls up there in the same, at the same time, and that kind of frenetic pace of life can lead to a lot of dis-ease. Sound therapy can be worthwhile. It can help brain and heart, and can be a perfect way to relieve stress pain and anxiety. Also, it's costless than traditional therapy. It can be a very effective treatment. This is Fuad Malki reporting for The Pulse from Chester, Connecticut.